Okay, look, look, looks like we're about to head into the uh, next strategic turn E and then into turn 14. Uh, this will be major allied withdrawal because we do not have uh, five uh, resources for the whites. So I thought we would talk a little bit about what uh, major allied withdrawal means. So here's the effects. Uh, permanently remove all the AIF units, naval flotillas, and the AIF activation ship from play. So gone are the Murmansk, um, and the Transcaspian unit is gone. I think that's the only one's left over, and we take the AIF ship out. Which is fine, it wasn't really doing anything to begin with. So those are out. Permanently remove all white aircraft and tank units from play. Well, we don't have any. Uh, switch control of the Baltic, white, and our Caspian seas to red for each sea on which red controls at least one part one port. So let's go ahead and... Uh, so you can see here, like, the Caspian will now revert to... I guess these go away, too. These are AIF units, aren't they? Um, flotillas. I wonder if these flotillas actually should have come and helped... Uh, there was a flotilla here, and I bet I wasn't using it for any of the help here. That was probably a big mistake. forgot that's kind of why they're there. Anyway, so this will flip to red control, because they have a port. They control Astrakhan. And which other one? We have the Baltic white. Uh, the Black Sea is always in white control. Thank goodness. Uh, the Baltic will switch, and so will the white. Actually, the White Sea will not switch yet because they don't have a port they control on there. Okay, so we switch the ports around. Okay, during the <clears throat> first logistic segments after major withdrawal, permanently remove all Northwest Army uh, units within the Baltic Republics. We don't have to remove uh, the Von der Goltz or the Estonian unit. It can, they can remain. Uh, the Transcaucasus, the Batum, is no longer a white supply source, um, and units that are that must trace supply are automatically out of supply while in the Transcaucasus, even in the coasts or in Batum, and that means this area here. Um, so yeah, that's no longer a source. You can't even get supply down here if you're a white unit, so don't even go there. It's pretty much the no man's land. Uh, if the Tsar was alive, he no longer provides uh, or aids white rallies. And uh, white units now only rally on a roll of one rather than one or two. And AFSR and Siberian factions no longer receive replacements. So that's a huge blow to the whites. Basically, this is where you just start really just losing. And the other big thing that happens is that Poland is more likely to enter the war because if major allied withdrawals occurred and white has initiative, then Poland enters the war. So interesting. So we'll have to see what goes on here. Uh, I guess I should mention that last turn I totally goofed and didn't roll random events for both sides. Um, you know, that's, that was a big goof on my part, and there is a chance the Whites could have seized his initiative and uh, been able to attack Tsarizin. Uh It's a pretty low chance to have rolled the event unless you do that, the White or the political intrigue event, which we have rolled once before, but it didn't help us because we won the uh, initiative roll. Um, so that was a mistake. Oops, sorry. Not a huge deal, though, because I didn't roll it for the reds or the whites, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so let's do a strategic turn. E. Victory check. Nope, not happening. Al withdrawal. We just did. Uh, reinforcement replacement steps. The whites have no replacements, nor can they get replacements. So, I'm sorry, they have no reinforcements, nor can they get replacements. So they're totally done for this phase. Uh, the reds get reinforcements, and they'll get replacements. They get the second uh, Konarmia, which is going to be big. I think we're going to place this over by the Polish front because I'm beginning to think um, they're going to get in the war. So I think we're going to put them maybe in, yeah, Bryansk. Yeah, we'll put them there. And I also get all the armies back because I have eight resources and a bunch of cities, so there's only two armies I can reconstruct anyway. So, one of those will definitely go into Kharkov. And the other... Oh 
oh man, I think we're just gonna, as, as much as it pains me to throw even more troops, do I put even more people up here in the north considering all the losses that they suffered last turn? Mm, they still would have a disorganized army, but it's just, nah, they have plenty of bodies, I think, to throw at that stack. It's just gonna be a question of getting the right rolls. So I think what we need to do is focus on crushing this stack. And I think that means we're gonna have to put another replacement. I think we'll just put it here. And Ronish. Ronish. Yeah, anyway. All right, so that's the replacements and reinforcements. So they're done. So now we move on to the turn 14, January, February, 1920. Uh, let's roll for initiative. Reds win on a 65 roll. So Poland does not enter the war yet. And we're going to stick to having the South go because the South is where we have all the issues right now. The Siberian Front, although it's being stubborn and had a wonderful victory, ultimately is not going to go anywhere or really pop out of their hole, I don't think. So South is going to actually go there. Put the rest of the chits in here. Okay, so what are we going to do with the South? Well, oh, I guess we'll start bringing some more units down here. I mean, technically, I guess I should be bringing things to help keep them going up here. Uh, the thing is, what does this stack have? It has, he doesn't count, two, four, five, six, and its defensive value is what, one? It's one. But it's four units. It's it's tough to like, tough to get what I need. But uh, there's the corner. Yeah, I wish I could stack units in this sex. Oh, we gotta do random events, and then we gotta do strategic movement. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to skip all the best events again. I think if you watch this series, that's pretty much the theme. Yeah, it's mainly because the game is winding down, and it really is coming down to a few flashpoints, and so I'm kind of just focusing on those mentally and not being dumb. And also, strategic movement has not really been a factor in this game because the Reds have really had the upper hand, and I think I've discussed this before, they just don't need to use it as much. I've been able to pretty much adequately respond to threats through reinforcements and just moving back. So uh, let's roll the white event first. They roll a three. Typhus, disorder one full strength red infantry or cavalry unit of your choice. Oh, that is tempting. That means I could weaken the southern front or weaken the Siberian attack even further. They don't have that many strong units up in the north either. I think what I'll do is I'll weaken one of these though, because I think this has the greater chance of pulling out longest. So go ahead and weaken that bad boy. All right, red event. Six. Simonov Cossack Raid, all Siberian white infantry and cavalry units add one to the rally rolls this turn. So basically they can't rally at all, essentially is what that is. And we put this marker on the turn track. It's, it's a very handy little reminder. Oh, here comes my other dog. All right. So let's go ahead now to the southern shit. Oh, actually, we do strategic movement, but honestly, the whites have no strategic movement to do. And the reds are also, I guess they could move the Conarmia. Conarmia is here. And they can move, what, up to nine? Yeah, plus the gold. So I could move some things around here. Uh, there's a unit here in Vypetsk that could come over here and help out. I think we'll do that since the Polish are not invading yet. Although I kind of want to start preparing for that invasion, but I think we're going to do that instead. We'll, so we'll take these guys and they'll go chug a look, 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 chug a look. Um, actually, I want to kind of. Where are they at? There, I'm going to take the corner of me first and go chug a look, 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 chug a look. Keep you on Kursk. Yeah, we'll keep you on Kursk. Take this army and then we'll chug to Orel. Okay. And the whites won't use any of their strategic movement. No, they're good. Okay. Uh, back to the south. Let me close this door that my dog is rudely open.
Okay, so what are we going to do here in the South? Because that's going to be the real question. Um, let's see, I did get that Kona Armia there. It's now actually in the South, so the Southwest. That's kind of big. And the Ninth Army is up here. I guess that one was already there. I guess I'm still in the Southwest. Maybe I should have put it in Tambov. I wasn't really thinking about that. Eh, it's okay. Which is the weaker stack? So we determined that that's a six stack, and this is also probably what a three, four. Ooh, that's the weaker one. This one only has four, and it no longer has. Um, doesn't get any city defense. But the problem is, it's gonna be it's difficult for me to get units here unless I sweep down and take this. Um, which is probably something I need to start doing. That's what the Southwest is gonna come do in their turn. Okay. Does not help me out here though, but that's okay. We just need to surround them. They don't have any mobility. So let's figure out how we can do that. Well, first this guy's gonna come down because he's full strength. He's gonna come here. One, two. Bring the Konarmia down. I hate risking them. But uh oh the red train. So the thing is I am gonna move the red train. That's something I should have moved before I moved all these guys. My bad. This guy should move during strategic movement. And he's actually gonna come down and hang out in this city, in Lugansk. Yeah, that's kind of big. All right, my bad, my bad. All right, so they're gonna go there. This guy's gonna go one. Oh, he can't even get there, can he? Can this guy even get there? One, two, three, no. Where were you? Oh, but you haven't moved. That's what I can do. I can surround you with this guy. And you haven't moved, and you can come down one, can't you? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So that's what we'll do. Yeah. He'll come down. He'll go one, two, three, and hang out in that city. And this guy will go one, two, three. That's it. That's how we're going to get that nice surround on that guy. Okay, so that's 4, 8, 12, 16. Once again, we are dealing with um, 2 to 1 odds, right? Because it's just a regular red city underneath, Rostov. And he has 6 points, so yeah, it's 2 to 1. So we roll the die. So on a two to one, we have four, and we get plus three. The Konar Mia gives us plus one, so that's four. So we have eight. Uh, we determined he has a one here. Yeah, because he's got plus two, minus two with a one. So he has five, so it's a plus three on a two to one. And that is an ADR result, little a, little d, retreat. And I think that's going to be good enough to hurt the stack a lot. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to take our loss here, which kind of sucks, but we got it. You know, at least we had a unit to take a loss. He has to take a loss. Oh man, it's going to be this guy because he's going to die anyway. And then they will have to retreat. <sighs> Where to retreat to though? Retreat over here. He's got doubling. He can double up his stacks. If I go here, yeah, he can't double up, and maybe I can get bottled down here. But it's kind of sucks. I'm gonna take watch this because I'm about to go um, one, two. But by going through that zone of control, everybody takes a loss. Now they have really negative, bad, negative modifiers, and I can advance, and I think I will. Yeah, is that who I want to advance in there with? Yeah, because I don't really want the Konarmia hurt. I kind of want the red train to revive it if it gets fixed. Okay, so that happened, and this guy's cool, and that guy's there. Yeah, so that's a south move. That's the south daring attack. All right. Still, you know, that could have been a lot worse for the reds, but it also could have been a lot better.
with an Islamic is not going to do anything, even with the loss of the Tashkent unit. Uh, although, honestly, I don't think I have another garrison right for the south. I don't. So honestly, I almost want to like take a guy out of here and start coming back down to go one, two, three, just so we don't get partisans to cut us off in that town. Because now that was the one nice feature that the uh, AIF unit was serving there. Field staff check. That means we could activate the West Front and yeah, I think we will do that because I would like to start thinking about, and what I mean by that is we're gonna go over here. I feel like we need some of these guys sort of bringing down here and attacking Kiev. So he'll come down and go one, two, three. This guy's not ready to really go to the Baltics yet, so he's just gonna come down and, and go one, two, three. So I will mark this guy with the done marker when I'm done attacking, because he'll probably come into here and hopefully... Ooh, I'm not on the river, though. Could he have gotten on the river? I don't think so, because Marsh takes two movement points. Eh. Is that worth attacking and maybe taking a loss? Because basically it's going to become a two to one. It's a four to one right now, but it becomes two to one. And I just gotta get a retreat, which means I gotta get a plus three. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll attack. So we'll attack there. Where did my dice go? Oh yeah. The killer, 6-1. So he gets a one. On a two to one, I get six times one plus three. So I get plus nine on a two to one. And that is little a capital D R. So yeah, I was pretty much going to take a loss no matter what. But that's okay, because I now have Kiev, and this guy is gone. Forever see a Ukrainian unit. <clears throat> and it just ups the red resources even higher now. That doesn't even really matter. They're not losing armies, but they have to take these cities, right? So now we'll mark him with a done marker, because he went to the southwest front. All right. forces of South Russia who find themselves increasingly under siege don't have a lot to do the question is I mean do you just hold out here do you run down to Sevastopol um, it seems like a lost cause although I can sort of lash out and kill an army next to me and that's kind of worth it I think although this is not really the stack to do that it is just a four stack Ooh Maybe it's time to use our amphibious invasion marker. <laughs> so we can take, I believe, three manpower points and move them to any city. That's pretty much what I have, except I'll be abandoning my train, which I can't, which I don't really want to do. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just escape. And that's what we'll do. And we'll save the marker in case I have to quickly move points between here. So we'll go one, two, Three, yeah, we'll just hang out here in a Katarinoslav. And that works for me, because then I'll have a couple speed bumps in favor. Although now I'm in the dreaded southwest front, and they can stack guys, and that may not that may not be actually the smartest move, but they're going to be able to stack guys anyway and attack me eventually, so... Maybe this is just what we have to, what we have to do to avoid the onslaught. Okay. This guy is going to retreat there. Good to go. Good to go. All of the Kuvans uh, will die if I can't get them supply. I think I cut off from their Krug. They will die. Hmm, so I could defend here. And that is that their home hex, but it does expose me to a few more fronts. Whereas if I'm just here, I can really only be attacked here and here and well just here and here. Because um, it's not red controlled, so red can't get supply off the coast. So yeah, this limits where I can be attacked. Uh, yeah, but that's gonna be another turn or two away. So we'll just go there. Sorry, that's a lot of dithering. All right, 
logistics. So everybody is in supply. The whites only rally on a one, and the northerners don't even rally at all. So we're only going to do these guys. We need to roll one for all those. So nope, and nope. I don't think they have anybody injured. Nope. Okay. The red train works its magic for the economia, which is really big. And the eighth. So roll for the 10th and the 11th, we'll make the red die the 10th. The 11th rallies. And we'll see the 15th rallies in the Cone Armia. So we'll make the Cone Armia the red one. Nope. And we'll see if that 9th army rallies. No. Anybody else? Oh yeah, all the forces up here. And that one, let's go ahead and roll that one, that one Polish guy off camera. Hey, he rallies, all right. Just in time for bringing it, all right. All right, let's do some of these guys. We'll start with um, the stack, the Latvian rifles. We'll be the red die. No. And uh, that guy. He does, all right. That's good news. So I think that means they were able to recover like half the forces that took the loss last time. That's pretty good. And I think that's it. Happy with the garrisons, of course. I don't think I need to pull any. And the whites don't really want to pull any. And I think we're going to just keep rolling. Yeah, all right. Southwest. So now we're going to maybe start thinking about trying to come down here. And I have three units with which to work with. So let's start making our move. Um, first thing we need to do is kind of open up this city down here. So we'll go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, two. Hmm. Maybe I should have actually killed that unit. I don't think so, actually. Maybe, though. I don't know. I'm debating if I should have killed Army with that guy, but it's okay. So we'll bring these guys here, and he will attack the Gulai Pole garrison. This is an 8 to 1 attack with shifting, so it's 4 to 1. It doesn't even matter for the shifts. Ooh, the old 6 to 2. So he gets a value of three. They have a value of three. So it's a zero on a four to one. Yeah, four to one zero. It's a little dr. So yeah, I die still. And I can't advance there because I won't be able to get supply. Yeah, not until I can blow that open. Um, all right. No, technically I could, because it's one hex away there, so that actually works. I could go there. I guess I am technically in supply as long as that guy is alive. Okay, so yeah, he moves. Got a little bit here and there. Kills the garrison. Good work. Yeah, it's just a matter of time now for these stacks, because they can't get replacements or really rally that well. East will continue its assault now with its troops renewed. Um, let's see if it can actually get a good attack this time. So we still got the same six. Um, whew, I hate to lose the Latvian rifles, but they do provide the essential tipping of the scales. So there's one, two there. There's one, one, two. I guess he was here with me, so, but he can't go. Yeah. Yeah, if he's right here, then I guess you could technically go there. <laughs> um, we'll go there. He pops over to here. Yeah. Okay, so we're attacking. We got 4, 8, 12, 13. That's 2 to 1, but it becomes uh, 1 to 1. He's in that city. All right, 
two to one. Hmm, interesting. Six six result. Um, so let's see. We have uh, one two three four. So that's what is that? Twenty four points plus three six nine eight. So what is that? Uh, Thirty two. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. Thirty two. And the Siberians have three, so that's 18, and they have uh, plus two, so they have 20. So it's a plus 12 differential on a one-to-one -one attack, which is little a, capital D, R, which is, I think is going to be the end of them. So we'll flip him, and everybody takes a loss, and then everybody has to retreat, and they can't go anywhere, so they all die. So boom, yeah, it's the end of the Siberians. that can transport next turn out. And there we go. Goodbye, Siberians. I think we removed their chip from play, I believe. Yeah. So, their chip no longer exists. Poland has not entered the war, and it's chilling in the positions it has right now. That leaves Northwest. And I think the Northwest is just, honestly, these units are just going to gather together, because I think they're just going to bring the pain. I don't know why I was bringing this guy down here, so he's going to go one, two, three. He's going to go back up here, I think, and stack with that guy for safety and somewhat numbers. Okay, so that is the end of turn 14. Let's take a look at the board and move that light out of the way. So in the south, you can see we sort of split the forces here and the whites are gonna to move to different sides. That's probably gonna be bad for them on all accounts. Kiev has fallen. The Northwest is sort of trying to regroup. The Siberians have been wiped off the map. That only took uh, 14 turns. And the Northerners are going to scramble to present, prevent uh, partisans from coming in and potentially seizing that city and cutting them off from supply. They may just, in general, retreat down, I guess. I don't know. I have to think about that if they want to hide out down here and just become dogged uh, adversaries for the Reds to subdue. Anyway, when we come back, it will be turn 15, March, April uh, 1920, and uh, the flotilla comes back. All right.